Offline Mode Daisy Editor. Whenever we create a map or asset, we need to create a folder and place the mod in it so that Daisy can add them to your gameplay or for testing in offline mode. Normally we play Daisy online, but for modders, we need to test offline so we can experience firsthand what a fully published mod will look like or <laughs> just to see if it works at all in some cases. By using offline mode, we can pack our mod, map or asset, and then boot into Daisy offline and test things out. If we're not happy with it, we can add or delete things before we upload to our server or Steam for other players. Now, this comes in handy if you want to see what your world will look like in full quality, including ground clutter, which is grass and bushes, as well as test out roads or even buildings to see if they work perfectly. To do this, we can use two methods, and both can be used at different times whenever you feel the need to view your map. The first method is the time-tested Arkansas Daisy Community Offline Mode. It will look and feel exactly like DayZ when you play with one exception. The only other player will be the Zs. Apart from that, it's exactly like the online version in most ways. The second method is DayZ Editor. It was released in late 2020 by the genius himself, Dab, or Inclement Dab, a man who helped assist SpaceX in computer programming and he is truly a computer programming a computer. This is a very handy for testing program if you want to try maps or assets as well. And it's a great feel for the finished product's appearance. And uh, it's free as well. To begin, we need to download the software. They're both free, so let's get rolling, shall we? Offline mode downloading and installing. First of all, follow the link below to visit the GitHub at Arkansas forward slash Daisy Community Offline Mode. That link is below. Click on the green code button and choose Download Zip. Be sure to save it to the folder we mentioned earlier so you can find it. When complete, click on the download. If you cannot open the file, you'll need WinRAR or similar. See the link below in the description. Once you click on it, you will see something like the following. Now, double click on Daisy Community Offline Mode Master folder and you should see this. Click on the Missions folder. Don't open it, just highlight it. Now, go back to File Explorer Click on the DAISY shortcut that we created earlier. Minimize the screen so you can see both the File Explorer and WinRAR on the same monitor and simply drag the Missions folder over to the DAISY folder. Be sure it appears in the Root of DAISY folder. Don't drag it into a subfolder by mistake. Now you have the Missions folder in the correct location for usage in future. Now, it's on to the second way to test offline using DAISY Editor. DAISY Editor Downloading and Installing First, you'll need to subscribe to DAISY Editor inside of Steam. So, open Steam, go to Community, Workshop, type DAISY in the search, then Type Daisy Editor in the next page search bar. Choose the following mod and then click subscribe. Now, Steam will automatically download the mod and it will be ready to use shortly inside of Daisy. And now both of those are installed. Let's begin setting them up so we can have a test run of each of these offline. Are you ready? Testing Offline Mode and DAISY Editor. So let's test out both methods offline to see if they all function before we set out on creating a map or a mod. You ready? Fire up DAISY and click on the Mods tab on the left of screen. On the right hand side of the DAISY search box, type 
Daisy. You should see maybe one of a few mods with Daisy. Tick the Daisy editor. If this does not appear, go back to Steam and be sure you subscribed first. Another box will appear like this. Simply click Load Selected Mods at the bottom. Now, simply click Play, wait for the following screen to appear. Be patient, it takes a few moments and the screen will appear. Great, we're ready to load a map file offline. Important, if you get an error like the following can't compile mission INIT script or the screen just hangs up there loading with nothing for minutes at a time, close Daisy Editor, restart it and click on Parameters. Be sure the command line is unticked and the box is greyed out. Now, try it again, it will work. Click Open Editor button, select a map like Cherneris Plus, later on your custom maps will appear here as well. Congratulations! You should be now offline inside DayZ. You can use the mouse and the AWSD keys to explore for a moment if you wish. Press shift to speed up, press space key to stop at a spot. Try pressing the home key to appear in first person mode and have a quick run around. It's fun, huh? This is basically what you're going to see when you're testing your maps via this method. Okay, when you've had enough, exit and we'll go on to getting the other method working as well. To get Arkansas offline mode working, go back to the Daisy main screen, select mod tab on the left and untick all the Daisy editor mods so they're not in the list anymore. It should look like this. No loaded mods, notice. Running offline mode Arkansas. Now, go back to the mission folder, open it, and select a map. Example, Cherneris Plus. Double click the folder, then look for the file as shown here, Daisy Community Offline Mode.bat. Double click on it and Daisy will start up ready to use, just like the online mode. The second method is by creating a permanent start parameter to automatically boot into offline. Please remember that creating an automatic start string will always attempt to boot into offline mode, but you can simply go into parameters and untick the start string very easily. That's if you wish to play online or load Daisy editor. To begin, click on Steam, then choose Library, select Collections, find DayZ, right click the icon, select Properties, then paste the following string into Launch Options. It's below in the description. Close the box at the top right, close Steam, then run DayZ. Click Parameters in DayZ and you will notice the string is permanently saved every time you boot the game. Remember, you will have to untick this if you want to play online games, as it will be a default setting every time. Now click Play and voila, you're in the game. Be sure the DayZ Editor mod is unloaded. You can add other mods to test if you wish though. You will be loaded in and already armed with some basic gear to test the map. Very cool indeed. Remember, you have to untick the parameters settings to play normal online games or use Daisy Editor, otherwise you'll get the aforementioned error, can't compile mission INIT script, or you simply won't be able to play the games online. Congratulations, you've completed the Getting Started Fundamentals course. This is the foundation for all our future work, so making sure it functions is the most important part to achieve. I'll see you again soon.